I'm Caden Pierce, and these are the Open Source Smart Glasses, a fully open source pair of smart glasses. Let's take a look at how we've made them and our plans for the future for the system. Let's go. Yes. Side of a small mountain here. Thing under the UV light. Yeah, that Like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. We're trying to create memory augmentation and live search tools based on transcription of what's currently being said, based on the context of the environment. The system is focused on transcribing conversations and providing intelligence into your conversations. Summary of conversations, live search based on what's being said. If you don't know what the word is, we can define it. If we don't know what a thing is, we can pull up the Wikipedia page. If somebody brings up a topic that you talked about with somebody else a year ago, we can search through all of your conversations and pull that up immediately. If you're telling somebody about a book or article that you read with an interesting idea, we can immediately pull that up from your internet history and give you the option to send it to the person you're speaking to to improve our communication and to improve our intelligence in conversations. It was quickly realized that in order to achieve this type of technology would require a suite of egocentric sensors that can understand the context of the user and that can build up a personal knowledge base of everything the user experiences. This type of technology didn't yet exist. And so we began the project by building a multi-speaker array, a phased array of microphones that line along the top of a pair of glasses and can transcribe the conversation and discussion that's happening around an individual. That text can then be processed with natural language processing in order to understand the context and what's going on. I knew I would need some help in order to make something as complex in mechanical prototyping as smart glasses. So I called up my friend Adrian Papineau, who's an excellent mechanical engineer, to see if he was willing to help out with the project. Adrian, pick up. A Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Listen, I'm trying to design smart glasses, and I know how to do the software, and I think I know how to design the board, and I have an idea for how the mechanical is going to go, but I don't really know how to do it in CAD, and I think I kind of need your help. Do you think that's something you want to do? Is that something you can help with maybe, Adrian, please? Yes. I designed the electronics board for my apartment and worked with Adrian Papineau in order to design a casing for the device. Version 1 was a large PCB that proved out the concept of building a tiny microphone array. And version 2 is a two-part PCB with a flex PCB of microphones that go along the top of a pair of glasses. Check that out. Popped right in, eh? Yeah. Only uh, one, two, three versions. And it's perfect. Halfway through the project, I graduated from Western University where I was studying software and electrical engineering. I had to load up my entire lab from London, Ontario into a single suitcase. Solder stencils for brain stimulation. We have smart glasses, hard drives, tools, brain sensors, SMD soldering station, smart glasses, mini computer, some hand tools. Of course, we need to pack some clothes. Fly to Vancouver, BC, and then take an Uber to my RV, which I started using as my lab to develop the open source smart glasses. While in BC, I met up with my buddy Dylan, who also lives in his vehicle, and we had a sick time hanging out going to the beach in Kelowna, surfing on Vancouver Island, and getting kicked out of our parking spots in the middle of the night. Where are we headed, Dylan? Island, buddy. Let's go surfing. Let's go surfing. Let's go. I am setting up the 3D printer in my lab. I'm putting some alcohol on the bed and scraping it off with signature scraper card thing. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. And we are 3D printing smart glasses that are open source right here right now one of the biggest problems in this entire space is the fact that wearables aren't actually wearable what i realized was needed was more than just this microphone array what was needed is an entire smart glasses solution designed to be worn and used all day version two of the microphone array hardware which is now really the version one of open source smart glasses being developed by Team Open Smart Glasses. I decided to assemble a team of people, all of whom had built their own DIY smart glasses in the past, and we worked together. 
The team I assembled has come to be known as Team Open Smart Glasses. If you want to build advanced wearable tech, smart glasses technology, with open source hardware and software, reach out to Team Open Smart Glasses. After landing and getting set up in Vancouver, I spent about a month in British Columbia. I then drove to the US and drove across the US back to Ontario, where I am now in Toronto. You can check out my other video for a little insight into what I was up to in the US. A few weeks before getting back to Canada, we'd finished and ordered the latest printed circuit board for the open source smart glasses. Upon receiving the boards and components, I immediately soldered them together in the back of my RV using my SMD soldering setup. It took a while and there were some hiccups, but over the course of the next few weeks, I was able to get the boards fully up and running. Let me show you a little bit closer up of how the board is in these glasses, then I'll cover it up and I'll show you the full thing. With battery charging, microphone, computer, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And now I am wearing the open source smart glasses. These are starting to look like some pretty normal glasses, but they're stacked with tech. Let's go. And this has two batteries equaling 1000 milliamp hours of LiPoly 3.7 volt. And we have our electronics board with sensors built in and prescription lenses, which is tailored to my own specific prescription. And we can make a prescription for anybody. In a couple of days, I'm headed to Toronto where I've got a couple connections with SLA 3D printers because we wanna start moving away from FDM towards SLA so we can get higher strength, a better finish, and overall just better glasses and a better experience for the people wearing them. You, you can obviously tell that this has some support material from FDM printing. That's not going to be a problem in the future because we're gonna use SLA which leaves you with a smooth finish. So Adrian and I loaded up into this RV and we took off from Windsor to Toronto, Ontario. Here we are in the RV. We're on an intense cyborg smart glasses mission to Toronto. Here we are in Toronto. We're just checking out Kishi's Formlabs 2 SLA printer. We're printing off one of the arms with some clear resin. We parked at a Walmart and then Kishi picked us up and brought us to his house. That's a robot he made. This is a pair of smart glasses Kishi made. What do, you, what do you have to say, Kishi? You, you, can, you can show this. This is an egg printer. Oh. So you kind of put the egg here. And then it's like basically it's a CNC and like with an actual egg. Yeah, on your uh, Easter egg. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, I, I made this for Easter. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> so you could you could sell these at Easter time to, I tried to, to small children. I tried to, but nobody want to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the glasses off of the SLA printer. We're gonna wash it and and then pull pull out the the support. Yeah, and then cure it. And then cure it. Look at that. I feel like... <laughs> Am I glowing? Yeah. And so what did I do? I got another 3D printer and I put that one in the back of my RV. And now I've got two 3D printers in the back of my RV. While in Toronto, we went on a crazy adventure. We went to see my buddy Pete, who's an expert electrical engineer. All right, we're here, we're here with oh Pete God, in the RV. So I'm so excited. Pete, so I heard, you said you're gonna show us your custom electric vehicle today, right? Yeah, definitely. So it full scales 300 amps. Yeah, one of those burnt out. Actually, they're not even hooked up. I got it. Oh. <laughs> I just got it working like last week. And we worked on the open source smart glasses and pushed them forward to the example that you see on my head today. Glasses with a smooth finish that are light, comfortable, and nearly look like regular glasses. This is an early prototype and doesn't feature nearly all of the features that we wish to have. The open source smart glasses are now connected and streaming to the wearable intelligence system. That means that many of the applications that I've demoed in previous videos are now available on the open source smart glasses. Hey computer, save speech, tag ideas, we need to build robots that can clean autonomous vehicles, finish command. As you can see, what I just said has been saved into my tag bins, into my notes, and into my tag bins under the tag of ideas. This time, we mostly looked at the process of designing the glasses. Next time, we'll go far more in depth with the use cases. In the next month, we're going to be launching the H2O Smart Glasses community. 
a place where everyone interested in smart glasses can come together to access resources, have conversations, stay up to date on news, and get first pick at the latest smart glasses technology that's being released. So check out the link in the description and you can also access that site as soon as it's launched if you join our email list. We're now rolling out hardware devices to select beta users. Check out the link in the description below where you can apply to sign up for our beta list. If you're interested in helping out with the open source smart glasses project, check out the Discord link in the description where you can join and become part of the team building the future of smart glasses. I'm super excited about this project because we're finally breaking through the barrier that smart glasses have always faced physical comfort, social comfort, and the capability to be used all day is going to open up a world of possibilities. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Like my channel. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe.